Right, page 56 to 58 is now the next beautiful teaching from the Bible of Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. And we also have a look at Joseph, Yusuf. Wow, the whole of the, in the Quran, chapter 12, talks about Joseph. Isn't that incredible for those who never knew? So as we do a study, we want to know what can we learn from Joseph in the Bible, because I think the Quran is basically saying, let's learn from the people of the book, Surah 568, and let's all respect and fear God and obey his commandments and just love one another. So let's start with Jacob. Jacob's appraisal in the Quran, 684, 1950, 2172, 7338, 38, 45 to 47. Jacob's prophecy, 4163, 6 verse 84, 12 verse 6, 19 verse 49, and 21 verse 73. Jacob's preaching, 2 verse 132 to 133, 2 verse 136, 2 verse 140, 3 verse 84, 21 verse 73. Food refusal, Surah 3 verse 93. The love for Joseph, Surah 12, 8, Surah 12, 13, Surah 12, 84 to 85, Surah 12, 94 to 95. Jacob's attributes, Surah 12, 86, Surah 12, 96, Surah 38, verse 44. Jacob's family, 2, verse 136, 2, verse 149, 3, verse 84, 4, verse 163, and 7, verse 160. That was on page 57, by the way. So, Isaac. Abraham, Isaac, right, had Jacob, had, and now we see two boys that came from Isaac, the twins, Jacob and Esau, the firstborn redhead that was Esau. God said the older shall serve the younger. When the twins had grown up, Jacob and his mother Rebekah conspired to steal Esau's birthright for a pot of stew. After this happened, Esau wanted to kill his brother Jacob. Jacob fled for his life, and many years later, when Esau was coming over the hills, Jacob became fed up with his sinful heart. Yeah, Jeremiah 79, Ecclesiastes 7.20, and Isaiah 64.4, and Psalm 51. And Jacob was fearful and surrendered to God for help. God's angel wrestled with Jacob until morning and dislocated his socket in his hip and changed his name from Jacob to Israel. And Jacob received a brand new Nature, a new heart, circumcised in the foreskin of his heart, a type of Messiah Jesus in us. Jacob and Esau make peace. That is a miracle. The lesson we learn from this is when we are fed up with trying to run and save our own lives, our own religious good works, but we've got sinful ways we cannot get rid of, we must surrender to God. And he will save us and give us wisdom for our lives. Genesis 32 verse 28, because that's what happened with Jacob. We have to ask God to search my heart, O God, and see if there's any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Psalm 139. Wow. So let's go now on to Joseph on page 57. That's Joseph, Yusuf, in the Surah chapter 12 and Genesis chapter 37 to chapter 50. We see the full story in the Bible. But in the Quran, we see a few pointers. If it's, it's been changed a little bit with its own little abbreviations. But let's come to the Bible and say, see what is the truth. So, when it comes to the beautiful story of Joseph on page 57, um, God gave Joseph a dream that 11 stars, sun and moon, will mother and father uh, and 11 brothers will bow down to Joseph. The brothers were jealous and threw Joseph in a pit for dead and killed an animal, and put its blood on the tunic of many colors Jacob had made for him. And they took his tunic with the blood on to Father Jacob to show him the lie that the wild animal killed Joseph. Jacob was so angry and sad and mourned many, 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 many days in sackcloth and ashes. Meanwhile, back with Joseph in the pit, the brothers were discussing Joseph, and the elder brother Judah said, It's not good to kill him. Reuben said no to killing Joseph. Joseph was sold to the Ishmaelites for 20 shekels of silver, and they took Joseph to Egypt. Genesis 37, 28. And the Midianites sold Joseph to Potiphar, 
an officer of Pharaoh, the captain of the guard. Joseph's story is one of saying no to sin and evil, no to temptation and immorality, offense, adultery, hatred, bitterness, holding grudges and more, trusting God to deliver him from all evil and lead him not into temptation. It's how Joseph asked God to forgive him his sins as Joseph forgives those who sin against him. Joseph forgave and loved and prayed for his enemies and made them his dearest of friends. Genesis 37, Quran 12 and Surah 41 verse 34 to 35. But only few receive this free gift of God. That is Jesus. So, Jesus said the way to heaven is narrow. We better believe it. We must follow Jesus all the way. It's showing us how to stand and keep standing in the most difficult circumstances, even if he lands up being falsely accused and goes to prison for doing nothing wrong. God gives Joseph the interpretation of dreams and visions, Joel 2, 29-31, and raises Joseph up out of prison to be Pharaoh's left-hand man. Wow, can you imagine that from the prison? So, if we have a look at... Um, Joseph being in charge of the food in Egypt, God even uses the famine in the land to bring Joseph's brothers searching for food and are reconciled in Egypt and bow down to Joseph as God told Joseph it will be in the dream. Eleven stars, sun and moon will bow down to Joseph. Then Jacob and the whole family were reconciled. Wow! So we can learn how God is the potter and we are the clay. And how God is refining us and purifying us and building character in us and bringing us from glory to glory and strength to strength in the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And then the gifts of the Holy Spirit of God must get all the glory. God must get all the glory when we are operating in the gifts of the Spirit, right? So Jesus was sold for 30 pieces of silver by Judas. They hated Joseph. They hated Jesus. They will hate us until they come to their senses and love Jesus. Then they will love us like they loved Joseph in the end. There was much tears, repentance, contrite in heart at the end. No more pride and arrogance and selfishness and self-righteousness. That's what we have to learn today in our lives. No other way. Amazing how the Quran devotes 111 verses of chapter 12 to Joseph's Genesis chapter 37 to chapter 50. Mercy and guidance. Forgive and be free. No matter how big or small, forgive and be free. If I don't forgive, God won't forgive me. Thank you, Father God, for blessing us with the true al Messi, Yeshua, Messiah, the Moshiach, so we can have peace with Palestine and Israel, peace in our families, peace with North Korea and South Korea, peace with China and Taiwan, peace with Russia and Ukraine, Peace with the Democrats and Republic. Peace with the EFF and the rest of us. Peace. Supernatural, spiritual peace in the soul, in the heart, that can only come from the blood of the Lamb. The life is in the blood, and I've given it to you to make atonement for your soul. Leviticus 17, 11, and Isaiah 53, verse 2 to 12, Daniel 9, verse 24 to 27. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us with the beautiful story of Joseph in the Quran, Surah chapter 12, all 11 verses. And in the Bible from Genesis chapter 37 to chapter 50 onwards. God bless us as the Holy Spirit is our teacher. Love you. We're going on to a very special time next. And that is Mr. Moses, Moshe, Musa. Look forward to seeing you there. God bless you as we get into page 59 next time. Love you.